It's fantastic to be here at the foothills of these mountains. Many decades of my life, first half of my life went looking for them. Because I had to unload my load. Now it's <laughs> now I'm able to be hardly here <laughs> on one level, in one way. The spiritual process means to become like a mountain, stable still, because. It's only when somebody has a very stable base, many things can be done. Exuberance of life is possible only if there is absolute stability. Otherwise, exuberance will lead to madness. Yes? That's why a lot of people who are a little creative, little active, little exuberant, always end up being freaky and nearly insane <laughs> because without stability, you cannot have a dance going. This is why Shiva means stillness, Shiva means dance at the same time. Either you see him sitting absolutely still or you see him in an explosion of dance because an explosion is possible only when there is a stable base. An explosion which is not destructive is possible only when there is stability. And stability, people try to become stable by controlling and trimming their lives. This is the way your grandmother would tell you how to be stable. Control yourself, then you will be stable. Yes, if you're dead, you will be stable. <laughs> Very. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> so normally, people who talk about stability are all constipated existence. You know what's constipation? <laughs> that means it happens little by little. Their joy, their love, their <coughs> ecstasy happens little by little, here and there. That's constipation. <laughs> so, stability is not because you have trimmed your life down or pruned it down to minimal and you're stable. That's of no consequence. Stability because you see everything utterly clearly. That is why when we say Adiyogi, we are talking about stability. At the same time an exuberant dance, this is possible only because he has more than two eyes, not necessarily three, more than two. That means he sees much more than most people ever see. Because he sees much, much more, able to be stable, if you see only one part of it, you cannot be stable. So the entire effort is to see better. <laughs> Darshan <laughs> seeing, you know. The entire culture has always been talking about it. You go to temple not for sending petitions, but for darshan, to see to see better. Fundamentally, why people are not able to see what is there with life is simply because identifications with so many things. Starting with the body, the identifications have gone into so many things. 
The moment you identify with something, your entire mind understands that it needs to be protected and just works for that. So how do I break my national identity, my religious identity, my racial identity? You don't have to go like this. If you break your identification with your own body, it's gone. Everything is gone because everything is rooted in that. Everything is just an amplification of your identification with the limited boundaries of your own body. The moment you get identified with this, rest of the identification is only multiplication. And <laughs> it multiplies pretty rapidly. <laughs> the more successful you are with whatever you're doing, you will multiply much faster. And you will be able to see less and less as your identities grow, the drama, the psychological drama raises in crescendo, won't allow you to see anything, your own thoughts and emotions will drown you. Unfortunately, the world has been constantly been pushing people to believe that what's happening in your mind is very important. I've been trying to convince the world what's happening in your mind is just trash. No Sadhguru, I'm thinking about God, that is also trash <laughs> Maybe a bit holy trash <laughs> but still trash. Because in your mind God cannot come, devil cannot come, angels cannot come, only thoughts come. It's a fool who identifies one thought as sacred, another th thought as something else. Thought means something that's not real right now. Thought means old garbage is festering in your mind. You need to think to survive about this and that. But you don't need to think to explore something new. You don't need to think to become enlightened because what will you think? You will only think the past data which is head in your head in many different ways maybe. How many varieties of expressions your rubbish finds is of no value to life? Maybe socially there is some value. <laughs> In some places when I go internationally, people are saying he's a thought leader. I say, oh. No thought in my <laughs> So seeing clearly, seeing everything, that your vision is not obstructed by yourself. If this one thing happens, stability will happen. Exuberance, you don't have to worry because that's the nature of life itself. Everything is exuberant. Stability it takes to allow exuberance to happen, otherwise you keep curtailing your exuberance because it hurts when it's out of balance. If you're out of balance and you move at a certain speed, you're going to hurt yourself. Whether you're riding a bicycle or you're riding the cosmos, if you're out of balance and you attain speed, you're going to hurt yourself very badly. So balance is very important. And balance that comes out of curtailment is not balance, that's, you know, package death. Yes, you package death in a certain way and it looks very decent and dignified because dead are always very dignified, have you seen this? They never did anything indecent, did they? 
So essentially everything is rooted in the clarity of vision and that will not come unless there is some distance between what is me and what is my body. If this distance is not there, then multiplication of identities will just… is an inevitable consequence. Vision, if you pay attention to these mountains, you should go crazy every day, though I carried it for my entire lifetime. Still I go crazy looking at it. <laughs> Either you're not seeing it or you're looking at it and not seeing it. Once Shankaran Pillai came to Isha Yoga Center <laughs> and said he wants to stay in a room which has a… the spectacular view. So after thinking the reception put him in the chitra block. Next day morning he woke up and he complained, I asked for a room with a view. Why did you put me here? This tried to explain, this is the room with the best view. He said, where is the damn view? The mountain is in the way <laughs> Mountain never gets in the way, it's just you. To look beyond yourself, that's all there is.